All right, let's talk about scup. These guys were out in Vineyard Sound the other day. They got some nice big jumbo scup, and these fish don't get a lot of respect. A lot of people kind of see them as bait stealers. They're kind of a nuisance if you're looking for a fluke or sea bass. Uh, but when you get into these nice big ones, they're, they're definitely worth keeping and they're good eats. Um, they're a bottom fish. They eat a lot of crustaceans. They eat a lot of barnacles, stuff like that. And that flavor is kind of imparted into you know their taste. They have a little bit of a crabbiness to them, and I find them quite good to eat. All right, here's a little fillet tip I learned a long time ago from a charter boat captain. I uh, haven't seen many other people doing it, but it's worth noting. It's good, especially on smaller fish like these scup. So we're gonna start with our normal cut, right down the side there. Follow that down to the bone. Spin the knife out like that. Just get that first cut started. We're going to work that down just about to the backbone. And we're going to stop right there and flip the fish over. And what that's going to do, it's going to make it a lot easier to get this second cut off of any fish, essentially, when you have that other fillet underneath it. So if that fillet was not on there, the head would kind of bend down it makes getting the second fillet much more difficult to get off. So we'll go ahead and take this fillet off as we normally would. Just work down along the bones. Through the rib cage. Fillet off. Now, when we go back to do the second side, that cut has already started and it's going to make it a lot easier to get this second fillet off the rack. Okay, so now we have our two fillets here, and if you feel down along the middle, you can see there's a row of pin bones that go right through the center along the lateral line. We're gonna cut those out, because nobody likes eating bony fish, so we're just gonna cut gently down to the skin, but not through the skin. Gonna make like a, a V. And now we're gonna take the skin off, so I like to make a backwards cut towards the tail enough to give you a little bit of a handle. Run the knife along the first two or three inches of the fillet. And now we're going to grab the skin and you really want to just kind of hold the knife parallel to the cutting board. And don't move the knife but move the skin. So you can see those are the pin bones that came out. And essentially we're left with two fish sticks there. Now I'm just going to cut these into smaller pieces. I'm going to try to eliminate as much of that red meat as I can. That can be a little gamey tasting. A little bit like that isn't bad, but you want to get the bigger pieces out. All right, so here we have our fillets. There was a lot of scales on those, so I'm just going to give those a quick rinse under cold water to make sure we don't get any scales in there. Nothing worse than eating your fish and getting a big fish scale in it. <laughs> 